we had sex, you took on the risk of getting pregnant and dying or having your teeth fall out or go blind. But you have the choice of terminating that pregnancy and increasing the chance of you living. So if you have the choice of being able to improve the likeliness that you survive, I should have the choice of not having to pay for the thing that I caused to almost kill you. <laughs> because that would be too much responsibility for me. And it's not fair. <laughs> But I do see where you're going with this because when I was a baby feminist in Catholic high school, I thought the same thing because I was like, I'm pro-choice. I believe in gender equality. So equality means all genders get a choice. But I was just feeding right into the fucking patriarchy that treats women like objects. Because by that logic, a woman's body and a woman's life is equally as valuable to or as worthless as money. And those motherfuckers got away with that shit for ever all they had to do was provide for their family financially that's it fucking 10 percent of the responsibility of a family they got to go to their one job for like 8 to 12 hours a day and then have the rest of their fucking life handed to them on a silver platter <laughs> she worked 24 7 10 jobs at the same fucking time and he got a foot rub and now in 2022, dear fucking God, they only have to take 50% financial responsibility. They have less responsibility. They don't have to take on the responsibility of risking their life to go through pregnancy and childbirth. They don't have to like physically drain their body and feed the child. They're not expected to support that child emotionally. They're not expected to support that child intellectually or literally any way whatsoever. And now they say, that's too much for us. <laughs> There is U.S. states where they don't have to pay 50%. It's like 30%. So if we allow them to take even less responsibility for the consequences of them having sex, we are fucking screwed, man. We will be getting pregnant more. Imagine trying to get a dude to wear a fucking condom if the only consequence is chlamydia. They won't give a fuck. Imagine all the women that would be put into poverty. Imagine all the women that would be coerced into abortions. Because if you don't abort that fucking kid, then I'm not going to pay for it. Then what are you going to do, Becky? What are you going to do then? Huh? You're going to be homeless? And that doesn't allow women to actually have a real choice. Because your choice is to take on not only your responsibility, but his too. Men need to do more. The only thing they provide to reproduction is their pleasure and the risk that she dies because of it.